Hello YouTube. Welcome from our stoop. Uh, just a quick video update. But before I do, just look at this amazing colors. Beautiful. Um, just a quick video update on uh, on my video that I did uh, on how one sometimes wish a pipe to be better than you expect it to be. I'm having Odyssey in my Zulu. Now, uh, one of the one of my YouTube community friends who sent me a, a Yabu in the past, Jim, made a comment which actually proved my point, which I made in my video by saying um, he he has about two. Or, uh, or three pipes that uh, that he also wish would have smoked better than actually it, it does. Um, and then he light uh, he packed one and lit it, and uh, it suddenly was a perfect smoke. And it reminded me of um, of the book of Fred Hanna, which I read. And I'm going to to uh, quote what he actually said on the perfect smoke. Hello, phone, please respond. Thank you. And it is an article on on the different brands and. Uh, and then all those things. And remember in my video I said that uh, obviously um, brand names, one would expect, expect if you pay that much amount of money for a Daniel that a Daniel would have would have smoked perfect. And, and there's a lot of people who says that their Daniels doesn't smoke that um, or don't smoke that, that great. By, by the way, I remember at school, that was the one thing that I struggled the most. When to use don't and when to use doesn't. I know it's supposed to be easy, but <laughs> still I'm struggling. Anyways, Fred Hanna says, Phenomenology in the context of behavioral science research is the study of human experience and how our perceptions are influenced and altered by our preconceptions, assumptions, expectations, judgments, contexts, prior education, cultural, and even family ideas concerning a particular phenomenon. Now he wrote that uh, in connection with how all these factors plays a role in, in, in us determining whether something is great or not great. Um, and you would remember that I said that um, pipe engineering and the hood and the age of the hood and what, 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 everything obviously plays a role, the tobacco plays a role, but this undefined human phenomenology um, is, an, as I said, undefined. You, you would just never know when, you know, how many factors plays a role in determining whether I'm having a good smoke or not a good smoke. Um, he then goes on uh, in, uh, in saying, in the case of tasting pipes and tobaccos, it is the brand myth that so often informs our expectations, prepares our taste buds, dictates the flavor characteristics and constructs the tasting experience. And all the while we honestly, though naively believe that we are being objective and impartial. So yeah, um, that actually sums up everything in terms of, man, this is a beautiful pipe and I love it and I wish it would just smoke better than it should <laughs> and sometimes it does um, 
So yeah, continuing on the quest of having every time a perfect smoke. That is actually why we, we keep on smoking, isn't it? And maybe there's other reasons also, the tasting and the relax, relaxation and... But ultimately, when we light a pipe, we, we want to sit back and say, man, this is good. Man, I enjoy this. Actually, I can actually rem I can remember last Sunday. I was I didn't actually want to smoke a pipe, and at one point I just thought, let me just light one. You know, if it's not nice, I'll just put it down and I'll, I'll keep on doing what I wanted to do. And it was, by the way, Odyssey. Ah, oh, and it was just. I couldn't put it down. Um, an hour later, I nearly packed another one. Then I just decided, no, you know, wait. You had your perfect smoke, so just relax and uh, and go on. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments um, and. Uh, continue on your quest of having that perfect smoke. I'll see you soon again. Thank you. Bye-bye.